everybody, Dawn here, and I'm here for another session of the Reclano One. Today we'll be discussing one of the newest product that we have, Google Vacation Rentals. We can manage that from direct channels. And from here, we have several things. I do not have any that are eligible because I have not published my site, but some items that needs to be identified before you get to scope your property to GVR are listed on this article. I will pick that up and show you real quickly. We have a list of the requirements here. Of course, you have to have a payout method. I created an initial video for that. You have to have a published site and these information should be present on your property in order for you to be eligible to do a vacation rental. Now, scoping it is very easy. Once those are identified, these will be highlighted and are eligible to be clicked. You'll just click that, save changes. It will start the transfer of information from us to Google which they will then be reviewing and may take up to two weeks to process and create that actual listing to be um, added on Google Vacation Rental. While it is on process, it would show pending on this section here. And if there are any issues, for example, your property maximum is um, 50, we have to do something manual in order for it to be included then it would show issues here and will show you what the actual issue is for us to troubleshoot and help you out on it. If it is already live, you would see a button here that says live on Google. I'll show you an example of how it looks like. Hold on. Yep. So I have an example here of how it would show on your channels once it's live on Google. We will have this section where it shows view on Google and clicking on it will take you to the actual GVR listing. But before we go there, let's talk about what's listed here. We have the impressions, which gives us the information of how many times your listing appeared on the Google vacation search. The click through rate is a count of the number of people who have actually clicked on your listing and the number of bookings or dose bookings that you receive from Google Vacation Rentals on any of your properties. They're listed here. Let's pull out one. And this is how your listing would look like, although this is not the actual search. I'll try to duplicate it so I can show you how to actually view it from Google Vacation Rentals. So I'll search backwards and Vacation Rentals. We're looking at um, Vacation Rentals in Athens, Georgia. And we're gonna do some filters just so we can see this one. We have sleep six in an entire house. So I can do the property type of a house and try to get six people there you go i have several um properties that are listed here the ones that we are looking at is a walkable backyard yep. so it's part of the list that we have in here it's not a one on top depending on your actual ranking um which is based on the ranking rating that you get also like the actual eligibility to the filters that someone is searching for example if someone is looking for a 10 guest property and yours allows 15 then that's going to be higher in the search list or if they look for a specific amenity like pool or something like that now this is what it shows on the result and we have the information here, the pricing. Clicking visit site would take us to the actual um, site of a user. And scrolling down, it take us to the widget with the selected dates that we have and the pricing and all the guests need to do is request the book to continue. And that should be it. 
So that's how Google Vacation Rental works. They can also always some um, guests may be searching like just nearby places. So for example, they're coming to visit the um, Great Wall of Happy Hollow, whatever that is, and the Bear Hollow Zoo. So they can also click on these dots, which are all vacation rentals, and one of your places would be listed from nearby places there. So yeah, I hope that helps you out in getting to know how Google Vacation Rental works and how to list your properties to Google Vacation Rentals. If you have any questions, always reach out to support at hospitable.com. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you and see you again in another direct 101 video. Bye.